Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you a problem which catches out most A-level maths students. We want to find all real numbers k such that kx squared plus k minus 3x plus 1 equals 0 only has one real solution x. If you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself and I'm going to dive straight into a solution. <laughs> Okay, so what most A-level students would do is they look at this and go, okay, cool, we've got a quadratic, we need to look at the discriminant, and because we only have one real solution, we need to make this zero. So that's what we're going to start by doing. Let's look at the discriminant here, which remember is b squared minus 4ac, so that's going to be k minus 3 squared minus 4 times k times 1. And if we just go ahead and expand this, we get k squared minus 6k plus 9 minus 4k, which is just k squared minus 10k plus 9. And this is the discriminant, so we're going to set this equal to 0. And now this is quite a nice quadratic. We can just write this as k minus 9 times k minus 1 equals 0. And so therefore, k equals 1 or k equals 9. And this would seem to be the final answer. Most students would leave this here and move on to the next question. However, there is actually another value of k here. Let's see if we can spot it. The logic we've applied here is, you know, we set the discriminant of this guy equal to zero, so this quadratic has a repeated root. And in doing so, we find k is 1 and k is 9. And if we wanted to, we could check those both give us only one real solution for x. However, there is an additional value of k. And that comes because this logic only applies if this guy here is actually a quadratic. It doesn't actually make sense to talk about the discriminant of a linear function. Um, and we need to check that this is actually always a quadratic and we go, hold on a minute, it's not always a quadratic because if this k term here is zero, this term would vanish and we'd just be left with a linear term. And so therefore we need to consider what happens there separately. So we need to ask ourselves, well, what about if k is zero? And if k is zero, this just becomes minus 3x plus 1 equals zero. And this, of course, has only one real solution. x would be one third. And so therefore k equals zero is also another value of k, which gives this equation to only have one real solution. So our final answer to this problem is k is one, or k is nine, or k is zero. If k is any one of these three values, this original equation here will have only one real solution x. So to ensure you don't get caught out by this, do ensure that the thing that you're taking the discriminant of is genuinely a quadratic. Ask yourself, well, could it potentially not be a quadratic? And the way it couldn't be a quadratic is if the thing in front of x squared is zero. So that's something that you definitely want to check. Anyway, that gives us our solution to this problem. Do not get caught out by this A-level trick. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.